Hey, it's Curtimus, back with part four of my Enter the Gungeon complete run. We are in the hollow. I'm going to swap back to my Blasphemy Sword. This area, I think, is the is a big jump in difficulty the first time you go here. A lot of new types of enemies. Uh, it's pretty tricky your first time here. Of course, I'm going to say the exact same thing about... Uh, the next area. Out of the all the secret areas, I think this has the easiest like area you actually go to. The boss itself is no slouch. It's not resourceful rat hard. It's kind of more like fun, crazy fight hard. But yeah, I'm gonna show you what this uh, item does. If you dodge roll over bullets. You can actually store them in your rat pack. And depending on... I, d I don't know if there's a cap to how many you can store. We're going to open it just because... Oh, am I going to take that trash weapon? I have uh, more keys than I can literally use. Because now there's only going to be three chests left in the whole run. Unless we get some to drop. In which case, we can always buy keys. Alright, and so how you get to the secret area in the fourth level is you gotta look for an NPC called the Creep. You may have seen him elsewhere. So he's like, there'll be like a grate in the floor and it's this weird guy. And if you drop your guns or items, he'll give you money for them. So. Typically what you do is you're like, oh, here's all my crap weapons, and just you give it to him. Oh, this looks weird. Oh, I got hit. I don't know how to time that. Okay, whatever. We lost one of three shows. Anyways, we're going to look for the keep, and we're going to give him two guns and one of our master rounds. So that kind of sucks, because we're going to lose one of our health. But at this point, we have three, which is uh, plenty. Let's uh, unload this resourceful rat stuff on somebody. I thought I would have got more. This one is getting a little crazy though. Okay, nice hub room. So we'll be able to. Let's, uh, I'll show you. Bam! Just throw all the cheese at him. He's dead. And this is the guy I should have used to. But, oh, I uh, thought I was behind uh, cover for his attack. Okay, boss room. This is going to be the chest area, or will lead us to the chest. I don't think we've seen... Maybe that's why we've gotten the uh, blood NPC so much, is because we haven't seen any other NPCs like Winston or anybody else. Oh, I got like a rare drop some coins. This weird head thing is kind of like the unique enemy of... I mean, he's in like a bundle level, but... This is where you first see him. He screams and shoots bullets from his agonizing mouth. And we have more money than what we know to do with, so I'm hoping there's like something that we can in the store, like when we got the alpha bullets. Not quite done with the store just yet. And maybe I can show you what Darunia does, or Daruma. Okay, this is cool. Not a mimic. We're gonna get an item, and we got the stout bullets. So up close, the bullets are are fat. So this actually makes the whole swiping at people do that much more damage uh, because you're gonna hit them with the fat bullet. Let's explore the last two routes. Um, one of them, is, the creeper is gonna be connected to like the shop or even like the elevator room. Wow, the stat bolts are so nice. 
Unfortunately, most of the bosses are not going to be up in their face, so this isn't like a huge damage buff for boss fights. Got the Ice Cube, uh, which makes it items rechargeable active, mm, which we actually didn't need at all. So there's some items like uh, like some potion items where you use them and there's a countdown timer. So let's the recharge timer go at the same time, which is cool. Oh, this is what we needed. No, that's the reload stone. Mm, reload stone's really good too, though. Wait, I can have three items. Let's go ahead and buy the reload stone. It, and this is something that uh, the charge time's gonna be benefited by the ice cube. Okay, let's go fight the boss. We have the reload stone, we have Daruna, or Daruma. And we got the, uh, what's it called? The hell wall. Demon wall. We're trying to get nice and close. We can swipe on it. If it gets too crazy, we have, uh, see, that's what the reload stone does. Just sucks it in. going to change to... Resourceful rat, in case I want to dive over or something. This is a pretty easy boss with uh, the blasphemy sword. Even if you're you've taken damage, you can still get up in his face and swipe him. Really easy. That's our fourth master round, but we'll be trading it in. Let's see what items we got. I can't. I'm gonna hit these from afar, make sure they're not. Looks like we got the, uh, ooh, the Predator. This is a cool weapon from uh, Predator, obviously. That's a lot of damage. Got the Master Round. Uh, so you can see this is where he died. You actually will die if he takes you all the way to the wall. So it is a little bit of a DPS race, but you should be fine. The Chamber Gun hasn't changed. Let's see what it looks like now that we're in. Let's reload it. And now it's, oh, it's cool. It shoots like demon ice cubes. That's awesome. Okay, so elevator room, we're gonna go. Here's the crate. Let's drop our two worst weapons. Which I hate the RPG. Go ahead and take that. Hate the unfinished gun. Chamber gun will keep her ticks and giggles. Let's get rid of that gun. This is giving us all this money. Let's get rid of the kiln. We'll keep lowercase r. Let's get rid of the scrambler, because that's not a very good gun. And now what we're going to do is get rid of one of these. Let me get rid of the second one. Oh no, it was too far. Let's try again. Take it. And he will take it, blow a hole, and down we go. So this was the last level added to the game. It's not like all 10 secret or 10 levels were there at base. They were slowly added over many updates, which greatly improved the game from when I originally started playing to now. There's been so many cool additions that makes the game so much more depth and in a lot of ways makes it a lot easier too. So that was the creep. And now he appears to be our enemy. So where we're at is... Uh, like the, it's supposed to be uh, like the studios of the people who made this game, but like the research and development of uh, the bullet pin. And so we're going to see a lot of really weird enemies. There's no real, this is not even a uh, procedurally generated, the map's always the same and the enemies are always the same. We go up here, we're gonna go to the break room. We will fight this fridge. And some of the layer uh, employees taking breaks. Got a little heart here, but there's no shop or chest on this floor, so we just have to leave it there. And let's go ahead and get the reload stone back. And that's gonna lead us to the exit. Got us some knights, some candles. All the enemies are gonna have like really weird designs and some of them are gonna have 
unique attacks. Unfortunately, got hit right there, just walked into the bullet. <laughs> Another kind of office room, more candle enemies. I guess there are some any variations. Sometimes you'll see different enemies, but generally it's the same. Here we got the big uh, boss bullet. He's not the literal boss, but he's just kind of this fun you know, guy coming here and little snake joining him. Okay, so now that we're done with the offices, we're going to head down to uh, this hallway and then there's some more research and development areas. It's going to get even weirder. It's going to get a little crazy. Here we got a chest. It's going to give us a key and an item that we don't want. Yeah, this room's going to get a little nuts. Got a uh, bullet can inside a mecha. These little brain guys. I think this is going to lead us back up here. It's a shortcut in case we want to uh, retrieve that heart if we get hit. And this should be the, either the last room or the second to last room. I always forget. It's very it's crazy. You got mermen, cheese bullets shooting like crosses. Guy is. Get over here. Okay, we got a merman and a cheese guy up here. Okay, this will be the last room. Got these demon books. Another giant bullet pin. These are like some pretty fun enemies, and I think. I don't know if these were scrapped from the base game. You know, everyone's over, overly ambitious about their project. or yeah, projects. And this is just stuff that couldn't make it until the very end. Here he is. So this is a gun nim, which if you kill the bullets past, you will actually fight him. He's a reference to a Legend of Zelda Link to the Past boss. But now I think this is Die Hard. I haven't seen Die Hard, so I'm not sure. We use the reload stone. We're just absorbing everything. I'm actually going to switch guns to the Predator because why not? And we're going to use Daruma. Ah, I took a hit there. That's unfortunate. If I can show you what Daruma does. You got to dodge roll over an item and then use it. I'm just getting hit, so whatever. I'm done using Daruma. <laughs> we're just going to dodge over this stuff and take his items. The Predator's pretty cool because it's like heat sinking. We're going to just hit him right here with his huge attacks. Oh, uh, one last hit. He got all the bad guns because people just dropped the bad guns to him. Hey, Valiant Effort. Let's see what we got. We got... We got the map to the area we just beat. Awesome. A full heart. Uh, this is called Blockner's Gun or something. Oh, great, another Mimic. The Betrayer's Gun. If you fight, it's just like a whole quest line to kill. Uh, some guy. Gosh, this guy's pretty up a fight. I'm just going to use the Predator. And we'll get another armor piece. So how you get out of here is you just run off the cliff and that's it. And that's the fourth area in the secret level. And now we're on to essentially the end game. And how we're going to leave here is just run off the cliff and somehow fall to our next area. <laughs>